Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kodian Barrett. In the headlines at this time, Director of Compliance and Enforcement at the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, Cleveland Crooks, has described the actions of a security guard who on Monday was shot and injured while trying to disarm a licensed firearm holder as something crazy. Mr. Crooks determined from preliminary investigations that the guard was wrong and pointed out that other security personnel from King Alarm who eventually took the firearm away from the man appeared to physically abuse him. The guard who was shot was not affiliated with King Alarm. In the wake of Wednesday's transfer of the Energy Ministry to the office of the Prime Minister, concern is being raised that there could be negative backlash. It was announced on Monday that Cabinet Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley had been stripped of the energy portfolio in the wake of the Petrojam controversy. Former Energy Minister Clive Mullings is of the view that the move was not the best one because of the potential pitfalls. And Mr. Mullings is insisting that the Prime Minister should appoint a new Minister of Energy. In the meantime, the Prime Minister Andrew Holness is to address the House of Representatives next week on the transfer of the Energy Ministry. Progress is reportedly being made with the probe into the operations of Petrojam as the entity remains at the center of controversy. Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Finance, Fable Williams, has confirmed that a team from the Public Accountability Inspectorate is now at the state-run oil refinery looking into critical areas of its operations. The inspectorate falls under the ministry. The Jamaica Gasoline Retailers Association, JGRA, has joined calls for a strategic review of Petrojam's management, operations and long-term commercial viability. The JGRA said it welcomes the steps taken by Prime Minister Andrew Holness to intervene at the state-owned oil refinery. The association highlighted that the operations of Petrojam have a direct impact on the petroleum retail trade. It says the move to establish a special enterprise team to conduct and oversee the organizational and strategic review of Petrojam could be well for the industry should its members be drawn from the industry's stakeholders. And the Jamaica Gasoline Retailers Association is having reservations about the composition of the new board of Petrojam. President of the association, Philip Chung, said there are concerns about whether the new members are knowledgeable about the petroleum industry. However, he says the JGRA is willing to wait and to see how they perform. The new board members were appointed last month after the previous Jamaican board members resigned amid allegations of corruption and mismanagement at the state-owned oil refinery. Cuba's president and president of the Republic of Chile will be among 200 foreign officials in attendance at the 39th CARICOM Heads of Government meeting, which gets underway Wednesday in Montego Bay, St. James. Among the key agenda items are crime and violence, disaster management and climate change, as well as the CARICOM single market and economy. All 15 heads of government and heads of associate members have confirmed their attendance at the summit. This is the first time in more than a decade there will be full participation by regional leaders. Jamaica's hosting of the conference this year is in keeping with the re regular system of rotation within CARICOM. Prime Minister Andrew Holness's role as chairman of CARICOM began on July 1 and will end on December 31. And in international news, the teenage football team trapped in a cave system in Northern Thailand will spend another night almost a kilometer underground after officials coordinating the rescue said they won't attempt to move them before thursday video new video released by the thai navy seals wednesday showed the boys wrapped in foil blankets for warmth as they speak up one by one introducing themselves and saying i am healthy one said thank you to everyone who is waiting for their rescue at least one planned to bring the boys back to the surface include having the teammates aged 11 to 16 and their 25-year-old coach dive through the narrow flooded tunnels in full-face diving mask. And that's it for Headline News. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Cody Ann Barrett, wishing you pleasant viewing.